I do think that you you're you're not utilizing your brand enough like outside of this this gaming shit. You know what I mean? I think like you're like in the in the prime position to where I'll be I'm, like I'm like I'm jealous of like what what you could be fucking doing because it's just like massive shit that that you just like can do, but time just doesn't allow for shit to happen a certain way. You know what I mean? Like I I, I'll always put my money on you and Seth, obviously, because you guys are like my boys and shit. But there is like just not a lot of people. I mean, if you think about everybody that grew up when we grew up, essentially on YouTube, like not, a lot of people have moved on, and not for any other reason besides the fact that just they just get burnt out, and that's like an actual thing. For me, like my my vlog right now is like sort of fun, but at the same time, I'm just like I've done it. I did it for so so fucking long, and to continue to do that, like. I just want to do it when I feel like I got to pick up the camera and yeah. do it. And like me editing it again gave me that that sense of old school back. And that's why I liked it. But then Maddie's fucking bored just editing one video, one podcast a week, plus all the Huntsman shit. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with my channel. You know what I mean? Like I, I love doing the podcast, but quarantine has sort of put a, a damper on things. And as far as like a cooking show with my brother or as far as like, you know, taste taco tasting with my brother, like, I don't know. It's it's one of those things that you that I always have to go through as a creative person because I I don't want to do a vlog and somebody says like yo that's the best vlog you've ever done if he fucking touched it you know what I mean like I can't take full credit for that and I hate that yeah no and I totally understand that but that's what being a creative is all about right I mean when you think of the people that are most creative or that we would look at from the outside in that are most creative it's like artists uh, I mean. People in music, they, they spend years just making one single album. Yeah. And I think that's the tough thing about YouTube and creators in this space and the reason why they get burnt out. And we talk about it a lot, but you make one video today and you're really excited about it. You spend a ton of time editing it. You're really proud of it. You get it uploaded. It's got maybe like a 48-hour to 72-hour window where people will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But you can't even bask in that because yeah. you're already thinking about the next day and what's next. Yeah. And so I think that's why I've loved 100 Thieves so much because it, it, it gives me time in the background to work on something that will yield results in the future. Yeah. And I think you, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, you make a daily vlog for so long, you're not even excited about what you're doing because you think, well, I've done this a million times already and it's not satisfying. It's not scratching that itch that I have. And I think that's why a lot of people have left YouTube or have gone on to work on different business ventures because it's just not, it's not healthy at, at, at a certain point. And there's a lot of people on YouTube that are really successful uh, that make a ton of videos, get a lot of views, and I, and I, they make a lot of money. But I can guarantee you at least like 75% of those people are only doing it because they're making so much money. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, look at like Sk Skydo's Minecraft, I think is a perfect example for okay. this, where he was like the king of Minecraft. Yeah, he was the king of legend. YouTube. He was, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, definitely like one of the all-time most successful Amen. In, in that era. And he was just fucking done at a certain point. He, he just had to, he had to quit. He quit everything right and he took a couple years off tried the music thing i know he had a bunch of stuff going on in his personal life and i don't know the whole story yeah but now like if you go back and look at sky does minecraft he's trying to make videos again because you know sometimes it really is just a break that you need and whether that's one year one month a couple weeks or five years at, at, at a certain point it's like oh shit i had a really big platform i gotta get back to this yeah so it's not a there's a lot of things that are easy about it. There's a lot of things that aren't. There's a lot of people that don't see what they don't see from the outside. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's just a, it's an interesting industry that we work in. Yeah, I love I I I love it. Obviously, like I I do, but I do feel sometimes like a vlog specifically. Everything else, like I don't mind. I I do every so often. The Googans they they get together once a once a month, and then they one weekend and they film videos that whole weekend as programming for the rest of it. I love being a part of those videos because it's like not my audience at all. And I get to be just me without the the shroud of you got to be fucking professional or this, that, and the other. Not that I'm super professional, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And I just get to be me. You know what I mean? I love fucking being in those videos because, one, I like fishing. But, two, I, just, I, I like interacting with other content creators that didn't grow up with me in a sense. And that, to me, is like super, super fucking fire. Um, uh, and in from a streamer's perspective, like I'm not good enough to fucking have – an entertaining show you know what i mean like 
I like to stream when Hutch is streaming because I get to still be a part of a show in a sense, but I'm not the main character and it doesn't solely rely on that. I don't play Call of Duty enough to be, you know, putting up the numbers that I need to be putting, but I do have a ton of fun fucking playing it. I have a ton of ton, a ton of fun fucking bantering with fucking Hutch and Diesel. I love doing that shit. Yeah. But for me to be the main protagonist of that show, not for me. Yeah. Minecraft, different story. I, I'll always play that shit nonstop and it'll be like my love, period. Yeah. Um, I think, I, I think that's why I've gotten really into Warzone lately. Right.